Welcome to Ace Rodney. Rodney talks for the superstars. Tonight, tonight, with guests, the incredible, incredible, incredible. The scene starts off with like some sort of like commie lookout knockoff, but it's all sad and depressing. Uh, it's fucked up. It's it's literally sitting on top of a dying tree. Uh, like I don't understand why it's on a dying. They should really rethink where they're setting these fucking lookouts at. But anyway, all right, here we go. They're going back in time. Here we go. Here we go, this is what I'm talking about. So it starts off with Shale beating the living shit out of Gohan, like always, just how the original was. And, and here comes this guy, he lands on top of the battle, and he's all like, I want I want a piece of this ass whooping too. And he's, and he's like, giving him that smirk, like, what's good, man? What's, how, what that booty do? <laughs> what, what that booty? <laughs> what that what that booty do <laughs> all right and then sales like oh really you want to see what this booty do huh? and he shoots he shoots him with the move that never kills anybody i don't understand why in dragon ball z history this little flying disc key blast thing I, I don't understand why everybody that's in it either moves or stands in it and it does nothing to him so i don't understand why he, his first attack was that and Shell, and he gets behind Cell and touches the red dragon ball, which I don't know what it accomplished. It got, oh, Go, Goku came. Okay, that's what it was. Goku came and was like, hey, man, you eat, you eat. <clears throat> he's a bum bum nigga, man. <laughs> and, and he's like, ah, man, it hurt, man. It hit me right on the hand. And, and then, like, the squad rolls up, man. You got, you got this Goku, all right, with the power pole. Look at my nigga, man. He's decked out, dog. All right, he's got the power pole. He's got his sensu beans on deck, man. All right, this nigga, look at that face, man. That ain't the Goku from Superman. That's a different. They go, this Goku seen some shit, okay? All right, he's not playing. All right, and then you got Trunks. Look at my boy Trunks right now. We always talk about how Trunks has been a little bitch, but this Trunks, man, this ain't the same. Tr this Trunks will give you the works, okay? Okay, I like this Trunks. This Trunks looks bad ass, okay? It fucks with this Trunks. I would. I would lift his trunks, penetrate me. All right, guys. He's even got this little. He got this little like Fallout wrist thing, like the Pip Boy. He's got a Pip Boy on his hand. All right. Okay. He has a time machine Pip Boy. Come on, guys. He doesn't need that big ass dumbass time machine pod anymore. He's got it on his hand. This nigga caught his hammer like he on some Thor shit. So here come everybody jumping him. And, and then the girl's like, and Goku blocks the girl. He blocks the girl. She's like, I'm trying to get some action. Goku's like, no, nah, this ain't for girls. <laughs> now you feeling these locks. And then that nigga's like, oh, damn, his locks. <laughs> so here come Goku charging, right? And here come, oh my God, guys. All right, guys. We got this chick. I don't know who she is, okay? She's from the demon world, obviously, and this badass chick. Oh my god, she she can replace, she can be my toe every day, okay? The blue, oh my god, the blue skin, man, the hair. Sorry to get off hand. So she comes in and she's all like, Oh, I'm evil, I'm from the demon world as well. It, it go, and the squad's like, Who the fuck is this bitch? You know, they all zip up and, and, and shit. And she shoots Shell, and Shell's like, Ah, that hurts, and he transits. Forms into this damn monster. What? What? Yeah, what the fuck? Guys, I'm standing on top of my chair right now. What the fuck is this right now? Guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? This nigga is a cockroach. This nigga is a roach. Guys, this is my reaction to when, when I saw this shit. That, that was my reaction. Like, holy fuck, nigga, we need to leave. Like, so, and then after the end of that cutscene, it's like Supreme Kai of Time and Bardock. What, what are they? I don't understand this guy. Like, are they fucking on the side? Because I don't know. They don't sell none of this in Xenoverse 1 or 2. I, and Bardock's usually... He's just... They, they fucking, guys. I, I, you tell me what it is. Okay? All right? There's nobody else around him. Okay? Even Togi Togi's not there. Okay? You tell me what it is. Okay? You tell me what it is. I don't, I don't understand Japanese, so some of this stuff I can't translate to you guys because I haven't brushed up on... <coughs> Japanese from a long time. Why is this thing not a raid boss on Xenoverse 2, Bandai? This would be a perfect ass raid boss. Not no fucking perfect sale, one hitting everybody. This would be. I don't know what he would do, 
But it's a little more intimidating than Purple Aurora Cell. That This Cell looks like he's gonna lay some cockroaches and kill everybody, okay? His beam is charging his ass. His, his beam <laughs> that he shoots out is coming out of his ass. He gets his energy from his ass. It's gross. He's a cockroach, guys. All right, so the video plays some more. It, it translates to Bardock, and he's over here whooping niggas' asses like always. This Bardock. When is he not whooping somebody's ass? So here he goes. He's got his squad. Did you just see the original, like in in the Bardock special? His squad. This is Bardock squad right here. I don't know who that red nigga, that that nigga to the left over there. I don't know who that is. But this, for the four people right there, I've seen the, those those three people. I've seen them. That was the squad. And he got you know he got Zarbon in the door. He didn't freeze like those characters are already canon. But you know who cares about them? And then you got Gene. My, guys, I don't think I've ever seen Gene in a Dragon Ball Z. Has Gene ever been in a Dragon Ball Z game before? No. So why the fuck is Dragon Ball Hero special? Why is Dragon Ball Hero so special to have Gene, which is supposedly Goku's mother, in a fucking video game? Like, it's just stupid. She throws chicken. I don't know what type of meat that is. It's, I'm, I'm sorry. It's too big to be chicken. She throws ham. At her opponent, she just takes it and just throws it in the sky. I don't understand why she's just a character in the game. It's weird because is that a tail? I feel like that's a tail. I, what, how does this child, the the, the 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 person that people, they were supposed to represent us, the fans, right? Basically, right. But, but first of all, these kids can go Super Saiyan God. Like that shit's unbelievable why are these two kids going super saiyan god that doesn't make sense and she has a tail saiyans can't even have a tail in the game it's not even a cosmetic item like you just can't have tails like it, i mean you can have them wrapped around you but that's stupid freezer racers just got their tail all dangling around i want my tail dang between betwixt my leg dangling around okay I, I want two tails doing that the one that's in the middle and the one that's on my back like that's what i, I that's what a saiyan should have okay I just don't understand why Dragon Ball Heroes is just, you know, for so fucking special for a fucking local Japan arcade game. Oh, we got a warning, guys. A warning. Oh, my God. It, it, how could it be? The Saiyans come in here. Guys, this is where I'm done with life, okay? This is officially when I'm done. I put down my controller for the rest of all. Playing Dragon Ball Z is definitely come to an end when you see this happening. All right? We have Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. But that's not even the surprising part. You know what the surprising part is, okay? It's fucking Nappa. Super Saiyan 3 Nappa. I, I, I don't understand. It's Nappa Super Saiyan 3. This nigga doesn't even have hair. And that's like the main focal point of Super Saiyan 3. It's just how much of a slap in the face for it, it is for me to see Nappa as Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> and, it, and his only thing that's changed is his beard. His beard just got a little longer. Bitch, guys, I, I don't understand why Xenoverse 2 doesn't implement these cool ass fucking ideas for characters. Oh my god, I think that's about it for this video. Um, if you're in Japan and you're lucky to play a Super Saiyan 3 Nappa, then I applaud you. Alright, Super DLC content is cool. Alright, but I'm, I don't, I don't, I haven't even played the goddamn Freezer Race thing, the invasion stuff. And even if I did, I don't want to fight one a pool at a time. Oh my god, why don't you add some characters in there that's gonna be worth my fighting? Add some, I don't know what you can do, okay? You're adding all the, sh the cool stuff to heroes, when in reality, I want the cool stuff on Xenoverse 2. An actual game that I can play in the comfort of my home. So even if I did go to Japan, I have to go all the way to the arcade where fucking Japanese five-year-old little kids are gonna be there and whoop my ass 24-7. Dude, and, and I don't want that, Bandai. I, I don't want that, because you're gonna get negative reviews from me, okay? Okay. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. Okay. I hope you guys, I, I, I honestly want to, <laughs> I want to know how you guys feel about this video. Uh, hopefully, I may play Xenoverse 2 soon. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be hell when I play that game again. I'll let you guys know that right now. This, holy shit. Uh, bye, guys. I love you guys. Good night. Why am I saying good night? What the fuck? Uh. I hope you all have enjoyed the experience. Make sure to come back again.